most of us are aware that whether we have snap turned on and whatever the quantize value is, this is going to allow us to quantize any MIDI parts that we may have recorded. So I have a little basic beat here. If I select this event and press Q, then we can see that those notes have moved. So that's pretty familiar to most of us, I'm sure. If I control Z and undo that quantize, double click, and then here we have our snap turned on, set to eighth note quantize value. And if I press Q here, then we can see that those MIDI notes move individually, just as they did up above, but a bit more clearly here. Now, this snap function and quantize value are also going to affect most of the tools, if not all of the tools that we use. And this may be something that if you're just getting started in Studio One, if you're not aware of that, it could cause a little bit of frustration. So with our snap turned on, let's change this to quarter note. And we, when we move this event, then we can see that it's snapping to the quarter notes. So that's another way that it's going to have an influence. But also with the various tools. So if I were to activate the split tool, I'll press three to activate that. Notice that this is moving by our quarter note quantize value. If I change to eighth, then we can see it's snapping to eighth. But if you wanted to make precise cuts, then you can press in or click on the toggle snap to turn that off. And then we can see that this moves more precisely and we can really get into where we would like to make our cut. Now I will press one to get the arrow tool back. And if we move down to this audio event and let's come over to the track column and expand out our automation tracks for this event. Now at this point, I can click anywhere to add a point, automation point that I'd like. But if I turn the snap on, we're set to eighth note in our quantize value. And you can see, I can only add points at the eighth note grid lines. So again, this is gonna have an effect for adding automation points. If I change this to quarter note, and let me actually remove these other ones. And now you can see I can only add points at the quarter note locations. But again, if we press in to take that off, then I can add any points where I'd like to. I will click, hold and drag to select those points and press delete to remove those out. And let's press five to access the paint tool here. And so this is gonna affect the paint tool. If we wanted to manually draw in some automation instead of adding the points, but we wanna draw it, then with the snap off, I can freely add that. Studio One's gonna kind of clean up some of those notes based on what you've set uh, in your options menu, how much you want it to clean those up. But let's control Z, turn our snap back on. We're set to the quarter note quantize value. And as you'd expect, this is now gonna be restricted. Our points will be restricted to the quarter note grid lines. Let's undo that and take a look at part automation for our MIDI part. I'll double click. And then if we come to the pitch bend tab here, and if we would like to add automation, we're on the arrow tool here, we have a separate, so I'll press three to add the, the paint tool again. And when I draw this on, we're set to eighth notes. So we can see that those are gonna be put in according to our eighth note grid lines. If I undo, change to half. And as you'd expect, these are gonna be added at our half note locations of, for the grid. Now let's come back to the arrange view. I'll press F2 to close out the editor. And also with editing these events, when we come to the edge, either edge here, and we'd like to uh, pull this in a bit, our snap is on and set to quarter note. So this is gonna snap by quarter notes. If we change to eighth, then we're gonna make these adjustments by the eighth note setting. And of course, if we'd like more precise control, I can press N to turn that snap function off, and then I can move this in any way 
or amount that I'd like without that restriction to the grid. Now another tool that this is going to have an effect on is the Ben Marker tool. So we can click here to access that or press 7 on your QWERTY keyboard. And if you notice here, this is snapping to our eighth note setting. I'm going to change this to quarter note actually. And let's right click and choose to view the Ben Markers. Otherwise, if we don't check this, even when we add a marker, it will not be seen. So now that we've activated that, if I click, we can see a bend marker and we can see how this is snapping to the quarter note setting. Okay, but once we've added that marker, we can see that even when we want to manipulate the audio to either to stretch or compress it, it's going to be making use of the snap setting. And that's not really going to be useful in that situ this situation. I don't, most times I, I would, wouldn't think. So I'll deactivate that. And we can see now I can freely adjust this. And this is something that you'd want to play back and make adjustments to by ear to get it just right in most instances. Now, one other area that the snap function and quantize value are going to have an effect on our editing is when we are manually adding MIDI notes. So if I come to the browser, let's bring in a Mai Tai. And we actually don't need to see that. I'll double click to add a MIDI part. And let's double click on that. And we can see here that our quantize value is set to half and our snap is turned on. So when I click once, we are going to add notes. We're going to add half notes because we're set to half here. If I were to change this to quarter, then we add quarter and so on. And if I press one to bring back the arrow tool, whenever we're making our adjustments to the length of these notes, as we saw up above with the events, our quantize value is going to affect this. So when I come to the edge and pull this, it's going to snap by 16th note because that's what our value is set to. Again, changing to quarter note. Then we're going to snap by quarter. As we saw up above in the arrange view, we can press in to deactivate the snap here. And in this way, we can then freely adjust the length however we would like to. Okay, and so that is how your snap, whether it's turned on or not, and your quantize value are going to affect your editing and working with tools in Studio One.